a little bit of a change in the batting lineup that will be a wide delivery is it to start off with all right okay not to be as uh dig which i probably uh, not un giving it out again going down the legs and then it's been given stumping that's it karnataka loses the first wicket ravi inflicts that one under the legs the ball went and uh, i think he just overbalanced himself just overbalanced himself on that occasion yeah there you go and boom gone first wicket easy decision there from anish as well as uh, a beautiful stumping from ravi sai dismissed change in the batting order not working for uh, karnataka and i think they just wanted to save loki for uh, later in the uh, later in the innings uh, but now problems problems second ball there's a there's been uh, that big big wicket of sai going down as gudadappa now walks in b1 and let's watch that once again it was a delivery that was been followed down the leg side but what a lovely glove work from ravi marvelous boom there cleaned him up no problems whatsoever superb very good work very nicely done in and uh, this is what andhra are really made of a very dangerous side and you give them early sniffers they will just grab hold of the entire tanker single sunil ramesh at to rush first runs on the board as good the pa is off the strike with a couple of runs two runs now on the board oh god what a what a dangerous start here for karnataka i should say i just say dangerous because it might go either ways now it can be this way or that sunil ramesh now and probably uh, should start slow should really start slow oh god he just guided it towards that deep third region it's running away boundary yeah it is a slow start but he's used the pace of durga very nicely look at this uh, on the guiding towards that uh, third fielder region my god if he had missed it would have hit the stumps in no time how can he play that shot with so much to get on the board such a brave brave stroke i should say from uh, sunil ramesh uh, probably was in control of the shot for sure this is better this is the sunil ramesh what we know deep mid wicket boundary 10 on the board now for karnataka uh, when he plays such shots it's it's good it's not uh, that very scary but the previous boundary that he guided very fine towards the third fielder region was a little precarious last ball to go and this is the boundary i was talking about very dangerous last ball we will come back to this yeah they are guiding away to that boundary ropes but yeah one over gone 11 for one but yeah it was so close it was so close to the line of the stumps and he had to play it very late to beat ajay reddy at short third region or else it would have gone directly to ajay reddy if he had played a little early as once again see that and uh, analyze how can a batter play that on the first ball that he is facing in the finals 230 plus runs to get slow delivery and uh, he's got so much time yes i understand there was uh, the time factor the control factor everything is good but the braveness is all sunil ramesh new bowler bt bowling right time over one over gone 11 for one on the board as uh, lokesh And now will uh, come on in. Good shot. Will that beat the fielder in the deep? Yes, it does. A deep square leg. Another boundary here for Sunil Ramesh. 
nothing wrong with the ball just middle middle and leg and sunil ramesh's power towards deep square leg is doing all the wonders can on the legs played away towards that deep uh, backward of square for a single only there the bad habit of shaking and bowling is what the problem is with lokesh every single time there there he is explaining it everything anish we'll see that in the replay and now now he doesn't shake it right. what why was there so much of a, a discussion let's watch it what he was doing before the discussion there 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 before he releases the ball he shakes it it's a little bad habit that he has lokesh and anish uh, later explained it to him very clearly don't do that he has been penalized a couple of times and now lokesh is bowling as per uh, the rule doesn't shake it before uh, the release of the ball couple of runs they want sai will come back so that's four runs on the board good shot from good the part towards the deep square leg and four runs been taken and then uh, once again anish having a word with him now see what anish does he uh, gathers the ball I uh, watch this back live we will come back to that couple of more runs on the board let's go back to anish there he takes the ball and says okay while you are delivering it just deliver it don't shake it while running in your run up you are shaking the ball and there he he, he takes the ball and then uh, demonstrates it to lokesh there while running he is <laughs> shaking and running in that's not allowed and then before delivery he shakes it that's not allowed back live good explanation from anish much needed because uh, instead of just penalizing him you need to explain what the problem is two overs gone 23 for Good shot towards that deep mid wicket region now for a boundary. That's what Sunil Ramesh can do. If you are just slightly drifting down on the legs, but this time he was just clearing his front leg and playing it towards that deep mid wicket region boundary. reverse this goes towards that deep uh, point region good work very good work in the field couple of runs more added to the uh, board feeling it 
Strong shot again towards Quelag. Another boundary. Durga, I think, uh, is facing a little bit of a music. What he did against Sunil Ramesh. 23 runs in one over where Durga was batting. That was the 17th over of the innings when uh, Andhra were batting. And now Sunil Ramesh says, okay, come on. This is my place with the bat. I'll show what I can do. 35 uh, Karnataka have already raced on to in uh, 2.4 overs. And there's a a little bit of a change in the field. Deep square leg moves uh, more squarer and there is a deep backward of point if there is a river shot that comes across exactly for that shot. And even though there is deep backward of point, he cannot stop a couple of runs. Exactly there it goes on the reverse. Good work, I should say, there from Chandrasekhar. Deep uh, backward of point comes across, covers it nicely. Last ball. Reverse straight to covers will be a dot ball. So good to the power will have strike for the fourth over. Three overs, 37 for one. Dunna Venkatesh for Rao comes into the attack for the fourth over. 37 for one. Single, quick single being taken. At uh, square leg. On the legs, and that's once again punished. Beautifully done towards that deep square leg for another boundary. Good shot from Sunil Ramesh, and no problem at all if you're bowling so down on the pads. He just has to guide it over. He did guide it over. Bad ball from Dunna. He's moved on to 30. Sunil Ramesh already 97 runs were. Uh, the costly 97 runs for Karnataka where the drop catch happened for Durga. And another river, Sunil Ramesh once again goes towards that point region now. Straight to mid-on. Mm. Dot delivery. Ajay ready uh, at mid-on there.
that there's a change in the field as uh, a deep backward of point has now been pushed back and Lokesh at the backward of square leg will be back as well quick delivery quick delivery from Dunna Venkateshwar Rao to finish the fourth 48 for one 190 more needed Resuming after a little bit of a power interruption, wide delivery on this. Sunil Ramesh. Sunil Ramesh has uh, actually gone on to uh, score another half century, already three centuries uh, in this tournament, and uh, is now another milestone away uh, probably more than the milestone he wants to play there for Kanataka to win this finals outside the off stump that was just guided away towards the backward of point for another single <laughs> 77 on the board and uh, just on that par play 6.2 overs 6 overs 74 no loss Ajay Reddy into his second over. He's given away 17 runs in uh, the nine deliveries that he's bowled. 159 more to get for Karnataka. It's still not safe zone that they can feel uh, happy about. Good shot straight to Duna Venkatesh at uh, that wideish mid wicket region. Only a single 80 on the board. So there is a firepower in the batting. So sending Sai up the order might not have worked, but what that has done is it has pushed Lokesh down the order and it has pushed uh, Jairam Prakash also a little down the order. So the circle of the B2, B3 and the B1 batters now has got a little more stronger in the middle order. Ravi now has uh, taken his gloves off and is given to Chandrasekhar to keep the uh, wickets. After that stumping effort, just did not uh, probably think that he can be there. I think he wants to come out there and bowl maybe. That's why he's on the field or probably be more quick on the field. That's why Ravi is on the field. I think comparatively for uh, Chandrasekhar, Ravi is more uh, quicker of the legs. Driven straight on the ground. Durga. Will cut it across at mid-on. 
29. Couple of runs on the board again. A single there for uh, Sunil Ramesh. Dot ball now. Balling right arm round, one step. Straight to mid on, and uh, that will be another single. White ball, white ball there from Kiran Kumar. Good shot, straight down the ground. That will beat the long on fielder, even though there was Ravi. That uh, that long off region, he couldn't cut it across. Strong shot from Sunil Ramesh again. The power that he generates behind those shots is uh, just unstoppable. Even though there was a quicker fielder there, Ravi couldn't uh, cut across. Eighty-nine on the board. On the pads again and again, that's in the gap. Towards that deep backward square leg for another boundary. Sunil Ramesh has quickly moved on to 62 now. Brilliant batting. Eighth over in contention and uh, 93. 7.3 overs, 93 for 1. So, whatever Andhra had scored in that first 10 overs was 112. Might be Karnataka will cross over. Gets inside the line of the ball. Places it very, very correctly at that deep in wicket region. Lokesh can't cut it across. Three boundaries in a row. And a B1 fielder again, Sunil Ramesh. is just a big gamble again here for Andhra Pradesh. Because they have to bowl. It you can't hide your B1 bowlers. They'll have to come out there and bowl. Another ball being exchanged. Another ball loses its shape. Sunil Ramesh. Yeah, it's very uh, quick. That he definitely is going to talk to the uh, ball makers himself. Sunil Ramesh. That's what is going to happen. He just uh, hits the ball so hard. It loses its shape very, very soon. Again, strong bottom hand. Ajay Reddy can't cut it across. 
Four boundaries in a row now towards that long on region. Race is passed. Ajay Reddy at mid on. Slow delivery from Kiran. Nothing wrong with the ball, but Ajay Reddy, the B1 fielder there. Yes, I understand. With the diving effort, just couldn't stop uh, the pace at which he is hitting it out. Last ball of the eighth over coming up. Uh, will he just think of a single and keep strike? White ball, white ball. One thirty six still needed. Straight down the ground. Oh, he puts the body behind the ball, Kiran. Does well, really well, or else that ball would have uh, travelled past. <laughs> Long on boundary. Eight gone, 103 for one. 135 more needed. Ajay Reddy is having a conversation there with Sunil. Trying to uh, probably uh, just say, okay, how many more boundaries you want to hit, my friend? Eight overs, 103 for one. 135 more needed. Hundred and six uh, and hundred and thirty-two is what uh, is more needed. Eight point three on the uh, overs. As uh, a big shot again that comes out towards the long on and another boundary. Brilliant stroke here once again from Sunil. 
and all the more interesting to uh, probably see if uh, ajay reddy cannot stop the run flow here for uh, karnataka because he's also been costly today in 10 overs if i remember andhra had scored 112 runs but here in 8.4 overs 110 already for karnataka 29 is what ajay reddy has given away in his third over make some room blast it to covers that's running away towards the deep extra boundary another boundary here wow this is some strong strong hitting skills whatever goes in and around you just forget all that and concentrate and enjoy sunil ramesh's batting as of now is what i feel wow brilliant hitting this and uh, such clean hitting and no wonder the team calls him the uh, dj bravo of karnataka yeah, big big name to be associated with yeah he does bat like him yeah, today was a little uh, expensive in the bowling but today in the finals what his role is is with the bat is done well wanted to go for the reverse first then change of a shot towards that deep fine for another single nine overs gone 114 for one 115 rather 123 more needed I think this is why Ravi uh, took away his pads ah, okay, okay. to come on in to bowl and also to field. 115 for one, 123 more needed. Oh God, that's a half chance. That definitely is a chance. Sunil Ramesh was hitting it so hard, and Ravi just, I think, has missed touching the Champions Trophy. I won't say grabbing, but touching. He did go outside, got himself in a good position. It would have been a stupendous catch if he had caught it. Oh, everything was right, but the ball did not stick onto his palms. Cotton bowl chance going down. I'm just saying uh, he would have just missed touching the trophy. They've not slipped the trophy away yet. But uh, dropping Sunil Ramesh on 83, my God. This is uh, a big, big drop. Oh, I think uh, he just had to put his hand a little more towards the ball, a little more down towards the ball. He couldn't, he couldn't grab it uh, very correctly. Ah, that disappointment. That disappointment tells the story. Oh, God, it was dropped there on 81. One twenty one more needed. Towards that uh, deep extra cover for a single only. Three balls remaining. Hey, go pay. Go pay, Kunju Lamakara. Hey, ready, bite. Ready, 
Oh, no ball. Right. Let's see that once again. I think Ravi out there. Now, oh, the center line, big no ball. Back live as well. Dot ball. Outside the oh, oh my god, white ball, white ball. It did come in, but uh, it was, I think, a very tricky delivery. It started off from outside the line of the wide, and look at this how it swirled back in on the line, on the line when it was passing. And Ravi, just, oh my god, oh my god, should be a warning there, should definitely be a warning. Yeah, there, 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 he is warning. Let's see that once again. I think he wanted to bowl a quicker delivery. Unintentional there from Ravi. After this ball, we'll show that to you. Straight to Loki. That's quite like. Dot ball. Let's go back to that no ball. Kind of a beamer that was. Dangerous. Last ball it was okay. Ten over was gone. 121 for one. Imagine how it is to play cricket blindfolded. Ready? Yes. Let's play. A salute to the spirit of the blind cricketers. They remind us that disability is only in the mind. Uh, firstly, I'm very excited that uh, Cabby is organizing the T20 World Cup for the blind in India. And uh, it's, it's really an honor for me to be given the opportunity to be a brand ambassador for this World Cup. Uh, it's a huge inspiration, I think, for so many people that uh, to see uh, the visually challenged playing uh, the sport and playing cricket. And, uh, and for me to be associated with this event is, is hugely exciting. I'm looking forward to the tournament and I'm hoping that everyone will come out and support, uh, support these cricketers who are an inspiration to all of us. I think, uh, you know, uh, it's fantastic that there are organizations like Samarthanam that, that, you know, have, have, have worked with Cabby to ensure that so many visually impaired cricketers and blind cricketers get an opportunity uh, to play the game. It's a game that they love and I know that, you know, so many, uh, so many people who are visually challenged and blind, they still follow the game, they still love the game, they still know the cricketers, they follow the cricketers and for them to get an opportunity to play, I think it's fantastic and also it serves as a great, I think, an inspiration to so many people, not only people who are visually challenged obviously it's an inspiration for them but even for others that you know having difficulties and having challenges in life shouldn't stop you from doing so many things i i think it's it's very unfair to compare uh, compare the two i think uh, you know uh, having tried a little bit of cricket blindfolded i can you know uh, clearly say that uh, you know playing cricket being visually challenged or being blind is very very difficult and much more difficult than than playing when you have vision and when you can see the ball Especially because cricket is a game of, uh, of, of you know, of eyesight and and and, and judgment, and, and to not have that and to be able to just rely on your senses to be able to hit a cricket ball or to field a cricket ball, I think requires huge skill, huge courage, uh, and uh, you know, a, a lot of ability. After the drinks break on the 11th over. A 
Kiran comes into the attack but uh, has been greeted with a boundary by Sunil Ramesh on the uh, pads there once again just keeping that uh, front leg away and stroking nicely towards that deep square leg beautiful shot 125 for Karnataka down the leg side wide delivery again Oh, oh, wanted to flick it too hard. I think just missing out on the uh, footwork. Just let's watch that once again. He wanted to come inside the line of the ball a little more quicker than anticipated. And now see this. Yeah, there. He came in too quickly inside the line of the ball than anticipated. That was a problem. That's why he couldn't get uh, the ball at the middle of the bat. Wide down the leg side again. Oh, that's not the way. That's not the way to maintain some pressure. 111, just make that 110 now needed. Kiran in his second over. B1 bowlers. Because will be uh, targeted by especially. Uh, Sunil Ramesh. But again, good the Trying to uh, sweep one. It's hitting it straight on the shoes. Dot ball. 24 ball 27 is a little so slow start for a B1 batter and when you have Sunil Ramesh on the other side just try and put bat in uh, ball and then keep taking those couple of runs that's what they'll have to do because even 110 of uh, 57 balls will be little tough if they are going in into that last 15 last 5 overs after 15 overs third wide of this over and uh, all the more necessary there for Kiran just to just to bowl wicket to wicket because Gurudappa any which ways is uh, under a little bit of a pressure of getting off strike. Stroked away straight to that square leg region. Ravi is there. Couple of runs more added. 131 on the board and 10.4 uh, overs. As uh, Chandrasekhar from behind the stumps completely guides Kiran on the line of the ball that has to be coming in. Probably is asking him to bowl on the body. Good shot, very good shot, but just a single towards that deep extra cover. Loki will be there. And uh, that will once again bring uh, Gurudappa back on strike. Can he just pierce a gap and get a couple of runs? Last ball. Wide ball again. No, this is not done. Kiran, he had to just bowl wicket to wicket to Gurudappa. This is the fourth wide of the over. And uh, Durga will probably be feeling, okay, right, let's not give away that extra run. Good shot. Can they try for a couple? No, it's not there. It's not there. Just a single, so that is a couple of runs officially. But if it, they could have ran a couple of runs, it would have been four runs on the board. Nevertheless, 11 overs gone, 135 for one, 103 more needed, 103 more needed of nine overs.
Ravi once again will continue from the far end. One over six runs for him, and that drop catch so important as he's got that little uh, strategy of bowling wide from the strip and then swiveling the back in. As interesting as a left hander, Ravi bats right handed, and then look at this he starts from outside almost on the edge of the strip and makes the ball to swirl back in and uh, ravi had dropped sunil ramesh when he was on uh, he was on 70 sunil ramesh was dropped by uh, ravi he was on 71 in the previous over The one fielder will stop that at uh, short fine. It will be a couple of runs. Let's look at the drop catch. Sunil Ramesh. It was a first over. Ravi uh, had come into the attack. Four balls remaining. Look at how nicely Ravi moves towards his left. Anticipation was very good. But just unlucky of not having the hands towards the, uh, towards the ball. He had to be just a little lower. A little lower. And Sunil Ramesh could have been uh, in a lot of trouble. Straight on the ground. Wow, that one swerved across and uh, reaches the boundary in no time. Uh, Ravi was swerving the ball, but uh, look at this. Sunil Ramesh also says, I can also hit the ball and swirl it back to you, Ravi. Just check this. It was in the air and ooh, came to Anish from outside the leg stump. Back live, big shot again, straight to Ajay Reddy, a short extra cover, run out opposite, would have been interested, Sunil despairingly wanted that single, let's watch that once again, it was stroked straight to Ajay Reddy, a short extra cover, and Sunil was forcing in for that single, and uh, yeah, Ravi hasn't collected uh, properly, no harm, no harm done. Gurudappa will get a wide delivery. Yeah, I was trying his luck too much, isn't it, Ravi? He was swirling back in from the edge of the strip. Doesn't come back into the batter. Goes outside the wide line. Wide ball. Good shot. Again, towards that backward of square leg for another single only. So, a couple of more runs. Right, last ball of the over. And uh, Sunil Ramesh gets the strike back. I've seen him score uh, a six as well. Sunil Ramesh has done that very uh, effortlessly. No uh, need of that now here. Driven, Ajay Reddy misfields. My God, towards that deep extra cover, moves to 99. Now with that shot, Over. had to stop that one. Both B1 fielders, yes, I understand. Ajay Reddy is a B1 fielder now at uh, short extra cover. Oh, it was hit with so much power. Couldn't stop that. 12 gone, 89 more needed. Sunil on 99. Down the leg side again. Very, very wide from Kiran. 150 on the board for Karnataka with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's got the bat on that one with that wide delivery down the leg side. It's running away towards the boundary as well. Eight runs for Karnataka. Wow. And what a time to release that pressure. Good Adappa. Always, always the miracle man. He did it yesterday against Orissa Sukram Maji's uh, wicket. Today he picked up the wicket. And yes, today he picked up uh, Dunna Venkateswar Rao's wicket and now he beats Dunna at short fine to get that boundary. Huge, huge uh, numbers there. Again hits it straight to Ravi. Uh, only a single so that means a couple of more runs as uh, Sunil Ramesh gets a strike back for reaching the fourth century of this edition. He's already scored three centuries. And yesterday was a big, big knock. Today in the finals, we're just hoping that uh, he reaches the century and then also scores that remaining 70 odd runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 fourth century for Sunil Ramesh of this series, Sir. and uh, a very strong way to go to that 100 by. Uh, Scoring that boundary towards that deep square leg. Four centuries and uh, he still needs to be there for Karnataka. Wide down the leg side. Big strong shot. And uh, the fielder down there had all the problems in the world. Gopalachari couldn't stop that one. Again, drives it towards that uh, deep extra cover. Another boundary. Unless and until Sunil Ramesh is there, Andhra will keep drifting away and away from that bound from that trophy. No ball again. No ball again, I think, of the center line. Sunil Ramesh wants a strike back. Oh, Sai had given up. Sai had given up the running. It's three runs, nevertheless. Yeah, let's uh, see that once again. They're uh, straight and that was a no ball and then it hit uh, the bowler. Big shot. Can Ravi stop it? No, he can't. Again, Sunil Ramesh scores the boundary towards that long on region. It was a slow delivery. He had come in very nicely in line of the storm. Satya Narayana diving. Ravi had to travel uh, a fair bit of a distance. And uh, boundaries being scored uh, everywhere around the ground here. 62 more needed. 62 of 44 deliveries more needed. Kiran has given away already 60 runs. 176 for one. And uh, a big shot. Very strong shot. Towards that uh, point fielder. There's another single for Sunil Ramesh. And last ball, last ball coming up. Now, can Gutadapa 
stroke away something do they want to come for it yes they will couple of more runs good running good running between the wickets 13 gone 179 for 1 59 more needed big big over 30 runs of this over costliest of the finals but it has all started with sunil ramesh's catch being put down by ravi how everything boils down to this one he was on 70 when this happened ravi did everything right just not getting the finger under the ball yeah that was a little bit of an issue that's all that's all but yeah then it was a little bit of an issue but now it is a big issue this turned out to be like 114 now i think ravi has uh, forgotten his cap yeah now he will uh, take it there from anish durga rao comes back durga rao has come back in after the 30 run uh, over in the previous uh, over for the b1 kiran very very costly Ninety plus runs, maybe from the B1, we'll get that correct number in a while. As good as the par now is not finding the gap. Fifty-nine of forty uh, deliveries, so it is looking like Karnataka are a little closer. Three dot deliveries, pressure, pressure here. All that Durga is doing is bowling slow, and Sunil Ramesh is uh, running up to him just to have uh, a talk. Don't tell me he's uh, going in and saying, "Okay, try and be closer to the stumps and do something <laughs> behind the stumps." Maybe if that's not the idea. No, thankfully not that. Thankfully not that. Single. That's all you need. And every time uh, a wanted out uh, can look bad on screen. Thankfully, good part does not do it. Moves on to forty-nine. 57 and now andhra are just feeling the heat and also it is 12 o'clock here in nagpur the local time it is getting sunnier and hotter but more than that andhra is feeling the heat which is called sunil ramesh he is on strike now long on wider there is extra cover he will go reverse straight to dunna venkatesh at that cover position i was talking about last ball of the 14th and uh, no single there 14 gone just three runs of this durga rao over my god what a big pull back this 14 gone 182 for 1 56 more needed of 6 overs 56 come 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 Ajay Reddy he is also a little costly today 3 overs 34 uh, without a wicket for him comes back uh, for the last over water without permission nahi kar wo bolne ka big shot and uh, straight towards that deep mid wicket fielder ravi
Outside the Ostrom, yeah, this is what was wanting to happen. This is what was wanting to happen. Huge appeal. Andhra does not celebrate. Yeah, this is a wanted wicket, isn't it? Uh, just uh, going out on the stumping. And uh, because Gurudappa was uh, struggling so much. Keeper just collecting it uh, in in front. Maybe a discussion here, right? I think there is something here for us to watch out. Chandrasekhar, the keeper, is collecting the ball in front of the line of the stumps. Yeah, there you go. There, he is collecting the ball in front of the stumps. Okay. It's uh, not a stumping. It will be a no ball. Right, my God. Wh what change uh, in fortunes here? It's a no ball because the keeper collected it in front of the line of the stumps. As Gurudappa now gets another chance for uh, going out there to become uh, that B1 batter to score that 50 in a finals. Uh, very clearly, very clearly holding the ball uh, in front of the line of the stumps. Back live as uh, Gurudappa stays on. I think a huge appeal. Uh, right, uh, as uh, the ball was being bowled outside, and uh, yeah, it was off the bat. It was off the bat on the outside edge for Gurudappa. And probably that's what the umpires are discussing about. It was off the bat as well. Neither is he running, neither is he running, neither is he completing the shot. Is that B1? No, he is walking on to it. But uh, did they take that single? Did they take that single? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. So. Gurudappa finishes uh, with a half century. 51. Walks back, retired hurt. Run back here, 
Two balls remaining, no? A deep extra cover will not be able to stop it. Sunil Ramesh carries on in his brilliant form. Outside the off stump, there was a little room that was being provided. One ball to go on. Straight on the ground, another boundary. And uh, Sunil Ramesh just piles on the misery on Andhra Pradesh. Towards that long on region. 15 gone, 194 for one. Big shot. Yeah, big match player. One more over for the B1 uh, bowlers. I think uh, until and unless Sunil Ramesh is there, Durga Rao does not want to expose the B1 bowlers because they might have given more than 90 runs. Goes in between the legs. Probably be a buy, I guess. Is it? I think, yeah, it is a buy. It is a buy to start off with, but nevertheless, prior. Prakash Jairam still will remain on zero. And Sunil Ramesh will get the strike back. 29 deliveries, 43. Swept away. Straight to Loki at uh, deep mid wicket. Outside the off stump that was, but now Prakash Jairam will get a single. One run. Three remaining. Unless and until Sunil Ramesh is there, Karnataka will not feel any pressure. No problems for them. And Andhra will feel all the pressure in the world. Oh, wrong timing on the foot from Jai Prakash. He had to uh, release the foot. He did release it, but kept it down at the wrong time. Jairam Prakash, look at this. There, he wanted to release it, and then, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just kept it down at the wrong time. And nevertheless, it was, uh, any which way, is a single. Strong shot, driven straight to that deep extra cover region. For a single again. 199. Dot ball. Dot ball. Rare dot delivery for Sunil Ramesh. 16. Gone. 199 for one. And uh, this is what happened when Ravi was bowling. And when uh, Sunil Ramesh was on 70 runs. There. The drop catch. Costing. Costing a lot. I mentioned it uh, that time that half the uh, Andhra team stayed away from touching the trophy. 
and it now looks like uh, the trophy is now slowly slipping away and away Seven overs, 105 runs is what the B1 bowlers have conceded for Andhra Pradesh. Oh God, probably they did not plan for that one. Yeah, so much unplanned stuff can happen in live sport. You've got to be ready for everything. And how you need to be ready? By having different plans. Dunna Venkatesh has been welcomed by uh, Prakash Jairam with a boundary towards that deep square leg region. Karnataka reached 200 with that. Strong shot, strong shot down the leg side. And uh, no chance there for Ravi to get across. <laughs> 35 of 23. Good stop from Ajay Reddy at mid off. The B1 fielder. Does well, does really well. Oh, dot delivery, dot delivery. That ball missed the leg stamp. By a small, small whisker. Oh, Sunil Ramesh wanted to blast it straight down the ground. Gave himself a lot of room. That ball swerved back in. And missing the leg stamp by a very small margin. Very, very small margin. Now watch this, uh, it swirled back in. A uh, big gap, big gap between the leg stump and the ball. Uh, the, the reaction of Dunna Venkatesh also suggested that the ball did miss the stumps. It did miss the stumps. Ravi was just... Uh, Ravi was just uh, expecting something else, but no, not to be there. Swept away and it will go through for that boundary. I think that was Chandrasekhar behind the stamps who was appealing because Ravi is in the field in the deep. I hope he's okay. He's just uh, diving around everywhere. But no, not able to stop Sunil Ramesh's uh, big booming shots. Nice lock sweep towards that mid-wicket region. Good effort from Ravi nevertheless. But uh, not able to stop that one. Because Ravi will be thinking of the drop catch. Still 30 to get. And this time towards the right of Ravi. It swept away behind uh, a square on that occasion. And uh, we'll just see if Ravi is all okay. The diving, sparing effort was good. And uh, he just falls just before uh, the boundary rope. So that's all fine. I think uh, he's good. He's fine. He's fine. He's good. Good save. Good save. 
very good save there from uh, Ravi. Twenty nine more needed, and that's not a boundary. So Prakash Jairam will have to go back on the strike. Very good effort from Ravi. Yeah, because he had to cover like around ten yards towards his right. He did really well. That's it. Don't bother checking that, says Prakash Jairam. Straight on the ground, through that gap uh, between mid on and mid off. And another boundary. Ajay ready, yes, at mid off. Uh, couldn't do much about it. End of the over. 17 gone. 213 for 1. 25 more needed of 3 overs. 25 more needed. Let's look at that catch drop once again and the Andhra supporters definitely will not be happy with that but it all happened there. It all happened there as Ravi comes back into the attack and uh, and Sunil Ramesh was playing the shot. He did all the things right but just couldn't keep that hand lower towards the ball. Big costly miss. Still no B1 bowler. It's the 18th over. When are they going to expose him? 25 needed. Makes room straight to Ajay Reddy at mid off. 105 runs in the seven overs. The B1 have given away. So there is where Andhra uh, probably uh, the second big mistake after the drop catch. That's that's another mistake where the B1 bowlers have uh, gone in for a lot of runs. I remember that 30 run over from uh, Kiran as well. Down the leg side, I think it was kissing his uh, shoes, maybe. And he says, No, not a white. This time it'll be a white. Big one. Jairam Prakash had all the options to play that ball between the keeper and shot fine. Missed it out because the ball was bowled so wide. Uh, from Ravi. That's in the gap. Towards that long on region. Will only be a single though. So now it's all easy for Karnataka. Unless and until Sunil Ramesh is there. Can something happen? Can Andhra now recreate a moment where uh, there can be a twist in the tail? Sunil Ramesh, 132 of 60 deliveries. What massive hitting this is. He is not stoppable at all. Another boundary towards that deep uh, boundary region now towards that long off and deep extra cover. He's bisected that gap so nicely. There. Deep extra cover and long off. Of course, not there, but he's bisected that gap so very well. My God, he's going to finish up even before I think the B1 comes on. 18 only needed. He says, forget the B1, let me finish it. Against the other uh, bowlers. Another boundary, this time towards the onside at long on. What a marvelous, marvelous player. And in no time, he'll be executing these shots in Dubai as well. Because India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka play a triangular series in Dubai. And uh, watch out, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. This man is coming to you. Ah, that was swerving back in. Will hold strike as well. For uh, the 19th over. Will that be a B1 over now? We'll have to check and see. 13 needed of 2 overs for Karnataka. 1-3 needed. Who's coming on? Who's coming on? 
there's confusion there in the Andhra side there is still a B1 over left but the 19th over Dunna will say okay give me the ball because it's just 13 to defend Quicker delivery has gone through towards that mid-off region for a single only. Moves on to 142. No, that. We'll see that uh, replay again for the no ball, just to be checking in. And uh, it was a good delivery. It was inside the center line, so no problem. Straight on the ground. Can someone stop it? No. Satya Narayana, B1 fielder, cannot stop it. Prakash Jairam now gets into the mix and says, uh, let me also enjoy this run chase. It's uh, completely swayed away from Andhra Pradesh after that drop catch. Big costly miss. I'm so sorry to say that, Ravi. is a good uh, player, very humble very down to earth but i'm sorry that because of that drop catch andhra have dropped the trophy they've dropped the championship and our karnataka are in touching distance now for becoming the champions of the sixth edition they were joint winners andhra karnataka in the fifth edition but here just seven runs away from uh, being crowned as the champions of the sixth edition goes reverse he has found a little gap it will not run away to the boundary though Deep backward of point. Uh, just watch out. There's another B1 over still pending. My God, what a precarious and uh, unnecessary situation Andhra have got themselves into. Couple of balls still remain in this over. On the toes. Straight to Ravi. What will be running in his uh, mind. Five runs needed with uh, seven deliveries remain. Can now Sunil Ramesh finish it off? No, he won't. Reverses it. We'll wait for the B1 over to come on in. Fumble from Loki. Couple of runs. Three needed now for Karnataka. 19 gone. Three more needed. 235 for one. Sunil Ramesh on 145. And this now automatically becomes a B1 over as Ajay Reddy is walking in. Yeah, he should eventually bowl it. Rather, forced to bowl. Easy. Yeah, he's walking towards the uh, bowler's mark. What a dominating, dominating chase this is from Karnataka. They're definitely happy faces in the camp for sure. Kiran Kumar. Yeah, for the B1, he's come back 3 over 63, he's given away. And he's come back to bowl uh, the last over. Yeah, just three more, make it 69. That's what the Andhra will uh, feel, the Andhra team. Right, can Prakash Jairam finish up in the first ball or is there still something left in this match? Can Kiran bowl few dot deliveries? Can he just uh, find the stumps? Dot ball, first one. Three more to get. It's still uh, a little nervous situation there. Five balls and three needed. Unless and until Prakash Jairam scores something, Andhra will still sniff up something and say, okay, we do have a chance. Another dot ball. Would have made something, but Ajay Reddy, good work. Very good work at mid on. Two needed more now. Uh, what a match, what a way Andhra have also played all throughout the series. Straight 
Broke away. That's a boundary. Karnataka are the champions of the sixth edition of the Indus in Bank Nagesh Trophy Men's National T20 Tournament. And in the previous edition, they were joint winners. And now this time, they are the champions of the sixth edition. And it is all because of Sunil Ramesh there. 149 is what he scored. And such a champion knock. And uh, he will be celebrated hugely all across. The Karnataka flag comes out, the yellow and red. Fabulous, fabulous innings from Sunil Ramesh. 149 that he scored. And he goes to Dunna Venkatesh and uh, has a handshake and a hug. His India teammate. Nine wicket victory for Karnataka. Big, big victory there. As they uh, rejoice in the moment of celebration. And only moment, only moment that you will have to go back on Andhra is where they had one chance where they could have turned this match around is the drop catch. We'll just show that to you once again as uh, the closing uh, moments of this game. Champions Karnataka. This is what happened when uh, Sunil Ramesh was on 70. Oh God, he's just come back and made Andhra pay heavily. A heavy, heavy fine being paid by Andhra because of this missed chance. And they have lost the trophy because of that drop catch as well. Wow, what scenes, what scenes here at Nagpur, the Orange City. It's witnessed uh, two great teams clash on against each other. It was uh, a joint victor that was being decided at uh, Hyderabad, the previous edition. And now we've come all the way, one year away, to witness Karnataka snatch away that uh, half championship also from Andhra Pradesh. They are now the champions of the Nagesh Trophy. And their uh, celebration continues. Of course, it will be a moment to rejoice for everybody. Big, big moments. And spare a thought for Andhra, Andhra Pradesh also needs to be applauded very good team very good side Dunna Venkateswar Rao Durga Prasad and also don't forget Arjun uh, Awadi Arjuna Awadi Ajay Reddy their shoulders dropping sad faces and they just uh, regroup they just huddle up saying okay whatever has happened has happened let us uh, let us just try and forget this it's not easy it's not easy to forget it definitely not easy uh, to uh, forget such a big loss but yeah they'll have to cope up with this they definitely somehow have to cope up with this and come out strong because there is still so much left and there on the other side look at the contrasting scenes look at how variation was there in the celebration and in the mood that's what the championship means the national championship here and I think Karnataka also hurdle up and say okay this is what uh, we were wanting for and another catch also had gone down remember when Durga Rao was playing Javre Goda had dropped the catch but now that is forgotten we don't have to go back and see that visuals at all because when Ravi had dropped the catch of Sunil Ramesh that has become more impactful now Javre Goda that drop catch can be now forgotten well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this live and exclusive on the uh, official channel of uh, Cricket Association for the Blind in India. Until next time, I'm Navin Shauri signing off on behalf of uh, the entire crew here. Of course, they have done a fabulous job. I should be saying uh, Vicky, Murga, Balaji, of course, Karthi, and uh, special mentions, of course, to Bhubadi, uh, the man who's uh, done all the running around. Very special fellow. Uh, thank you so much, team for uh, making sure that this was a grand, grand success. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, I'm Navin Shauri signing off. Take care, have good peace and good health. And uh, try and just do good, if not bad, to anybody. Thank you so much. To our scorers, whom have really troubled a lot, <laughs> Lakshmi ji and, of course, Ashwin. Thank you so much, uh, Lakshmi ji and Ashwin. Without you guys, it wouldn't have been possible. Anish and Digvijay, the umpires, and not to forget Mr. Ratul, who has a four-step process to give every wide decision. It was all there in the celebration. It was all there in the uh, 
in the character wise adul ji if you are of course listening to this and watching this thank you so much because it's not easy to come in fresh and uh, get used to our uh, a little format here which is a uh, very different from the normal cricket thank you so much for recognizing very nicely lakshmi ji and uh, ashwin also doing well and atul uh, the uh, other scorer the atul ji the other scorer the senior scorer also has to be mentioned here for all their efforts thank you so much everyone once again and until next time as i said try and keep doing uh, good if not bad to ensure that all people have equal opportunities for education work art sports health and success is the motto of samarthanam samarthanam means support or empowerment and we believe in extending all the support needed to people with disabilities and the underprivileged for their empowerment and independent living breaking stereotypes are 25 years of persistence and hard work towards transforming the lives of 100000 people with disabilities is evident in the inspirational lives being led by our beneficiaries today samarthanam since 1997 has incrementally been supporting people in need through its programs which are carefully designed to suit the requirements of our diverse and skilled beneficiaries envisioning an inclusive world and a world of equal opportunities was the founding stone of samarthanam it is not sight but the vision that drives success and our founder is a living example of it national award winning dr mahantesh gk is a visually challenged individual who built samarthanam an abode for people with disabilities and the underserved he saw what was invisible to the others the ability I became visually impaired when I was six months old, baby. Because of my joint family, who were very progressive, ensured all my needs were met. Therefore, I never felt I was different from others. We are not born with societal empowerment, but I was fortunate as it was bestowed on me by my mother. When I was joining Sri Raman Maharshi Academy for the Blind as a student, she told me, if others. knowingly and unknowingly takes your belongings don't worry they need it more than you 
present across 13 cities samarthanam has consultative status with united nations under ecosoc since 2015 and is also a krizil rated organization for its financial transparency with over 600 plus employees of which 34% of them are people with disabilities Gaining support from US and UK is a testimony to the relentless service rendered by the team and volunteers. 25 years of committed service has led to the establishment of many centers across with diverse initiatives. All programs of Samarthanam are designed in a sustainable, replicable and scalable model aligning with sustainable development goals of United Nations. Samarthanam has endeavored into exclusive verticals for the betterment of society at large. Freedom is meaningless if you cannot feed children. Samarthanam's Vidya Press All of you gathered here for the post match presentation of Indusind Bank Nagesh Trophy Men's National T20 Cricket Tournament for the Blind 23-24. Let's have a big applause for all of us. It was a great season of cricket. and to the dignitaries we would like to inform you it is it has been a pleasant stay in nagpur thank you all here at the same time let me take this opportunity to welcome our dignitaries we have with us justice vinay deshpande the president of vidarbha cricket association thank you sir for accepting our invitation and being here this afternoon we have our mla from nagpur constituency that's the south constituency shri mohit mate sir a warm welcome to you sir we have with us mr dr anup marar ceo health shalini tai mega hospital and research center and they are also a health partner a warm welcome to you we have our general secretary mr shailendra yadav a warm welcome to you shailendra the chairman of the nagesh trophy mr yogesh taneja and we have the great uh, lady here with us ms dignasa a warm welcome to you she is the president of the newly formed cricket association for the blind in vidarbha let's hear for dignasa we have our cfo of samarthanam trust for the disabled mr anjanappa muttappa and our founder member of cabi also the vice captain in the first world uh, world cup was uh, also played the first two world cups mr chandrashekar a warm welcome to the treasurer of cabi and the south zone secretary all the officials of uh, vidarbha cricket association that is the blind cricket association in vidarbha a warm welcome to all of you let me not forget to mention karnataka is winning the national tournament after 20 years it has been it has been the journey of odisha and andhra pradesh now it is the time for karnataka a good knock by none other than sunil ramesh and uh, the entire country on this auspicious moment let me take this opportunity to request mr shailendra yadav our general secretary to say a few words and welcome the gathering uh good afternoon everyone and jai shri ram jai shri ram manch par virajman aaj ke sabhi atithi gan vidarva ki dharti par aur is sundar ground pe aap sab ka main cricket association for the blind in india ki taraf se aur samarthram trust for the disabled trust for disabled ki taraf se aap sabhi logo ka अपने गहरे दिल से आप लोगों का अभिनंदन करता हूं कि आप अपना कीमती समय निकाल कर यहां पर आए मैं इस एसोसिएशन का जनरल सेक्रेटरी जुलाई 2023 में बना और विदर्भा को मान्यता देना तो एक बात है पर मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी का जो विजन है नारी शक्ति शायद इस देश की हमारी पहली महिला प्रेसिडेंट विदर्भा से निकल के आई हैं जो विदर्भा क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन फॉर द ब्लाइंड इन इंडिया है मैं विदर्भा के सभी संस्थाकन एवं बीसीए और 
अन्य अतिथिगणों से निवेदन भी करूंगा और अपेक्षा करूंगा कि जैसे डीडीसीए, केसीए, जीसीए और अन्य अन्य अदर संस्थाएं बाकी राज्यों की क्रिकेट बोर्ड जो इन लोगों को सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं विदर्भा ऐसे ही सपोर्ट करें हालांकि विदर्भा से मुंबई 900 किलोमीटर की दूरी है पर हमारे नितिन गडकरी सर ने वो सारी दूरियां एक मिनट में कम कर दी थी जब हम लोग उनसे पहली बार मिले थे यहाँ पर टूर्नामेंट होस्ट करने के लिए हमारे डिप्टी सीएम सर किसी कारणवश यहाँ पर नहीं आ पाए पर उनका पूरा सपोर्ट हमारे साथ इस टूर्नामेंट को हम जमा जमाने के लिए उनका पूरा समर्थन हमारे साथ रहा इस टूर्नामेंट को सक्सेसफुल बनाने के लिए समर्थन हम टीम और क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन फॉर द ब्लाइंड के सारे ऑफिशियल्स एंड वॉल्टियर्स मैं आप सबका धन्यवाद करता हूँ जितने भी स्पॉन्सर्स मेनली इंडसन बैंक एवं उसके अलावा अन्य विदर्भा से जो भी स्पॉन्सरशिप हमारे लिए आगे आए उन सब का मैं हार्दिक धन्यवाद करता हूं ये वो दृष्टिहीन टीम है जिसने चार विश्व कप जीते हैं इसी नेशनल कप से इसी नेशनल टूर्नामेंट से जो हमारी अब इंडिया टीम बनेगी इसके बाद ये लोग उड़ीसा के लिए एक पंद्रह दिन का कैंप होगा उसके तत्पश्चात ये लोग दुबई पाकिस्तान और श्रीलंका के साथ ट्राइंगल सीरीज खेलने के लिए जा रहे हैं आप सब लोगों की मेहनत एवं गुड हॉस्पिटलिटी की वजह से हम लोगों ने ये एक बहुत अच्छा नेशनल क्रिकेट टूर्नामेंट फॉर ब्लाइंड यहाँ पर फिनिश की समापन की ओर हम लोग बढ़ रहे हैं आप लोग सब यहाँ पर आए आप लोगों का धन्यवाद करता हूँ वेलकम करता हूँ और अपेक्षा करता हूँ कि इससे ज्यादा समर्पण सपोर्ट आप लोग ब्लाइंड क्रिकेट को ना कि विदर्भ और महाराष्ट्र में पूरे नेशन में आप लोग सपोर्ट करेंगे धन्यवाद जय हिंद थैंक यू मिस्टर शैलेंद्र द जनरल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन फॉर द ब्लाइंड इन इंडिया जस्ट अ करेक्शन यू टुक अवे वन ऑफ आर वर्ल्ड कप्स थ्री टी ट्वेंटी एंड टू वर्ल्ड कप ओडीआई वर्ल्ड कप वन एशिया कप has been won by cricket association team that is uh, Indian men's uh, blind cricket team and uh, congratulations to them for their hard work over the years may i now request uh, mr yogesh taneja who is the key behind this uh, entire nagesh trophy the functioning of nagesh trophy beginning from uh, last november but his work started immediately after he took over in july so over to you mr yogesh taneja to speak few words and uh, summarize the nagesh trophy good afternoon everyone and congratulations first of all to karnataka last time it was a joint uh, winner up so this year we have done it so congratulations to entire team and hard luck andhra but congratulations for reaching to the semi finals तो मुझे लगता है कि इस बार चांस एक नई टीम को मिला क्योंकि लास्ट टू टाइम से कर्नाटका भी ट्राई कर रहा था बट सक्सेसफुल नहीं हुआ इस इस साल आपके पास नागेश सर की ब्लेसिंग्स थी बहुत सारी और बढ़ी तो वी हैव डन इट सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट नागेश ट्रॉफी सिक्स एडिशन इट वाज स्टार्टेड इन नवंबर विद जम्मू देन द सिक्स लीग ग्रुप मैचेस stages were held in different cities including dehradun tripura and rajasthan kota chandigarh and kochi kerala and i would like to thank the newly formed board of vidava cricket association for the blind ki aap logo ne super 8 ko yahan host karne ka jo decision hai usko liya aur you have really done uh, very superbly so congratulations to ma'am and entire team super 8 ke sath milakar we had total 69 matches and which went very good i would like to thank entire team of samarthanam and kabi mainly mr dheeraj he is a one man army so because he used to wake up at 5 and i don't know when he sleeps at night whenever i just called him he he was reachable and he replied each and every mail 
so thank you dheeraj and entire samarthnam team and i can't forget to mention that i would like to thank shailendra sir and our president and our chairman of kb ms mahanti sir because they showed interest and they bestowed the responsibility of handling this nagesh trophy and i hope i have completed it successfully and though there were some mistakes and new learnings but it was the first addition for me it was a new learning so if given a chance i'll try to improve and definitely we will do better as a team thank you thank you mr yogesh for your wonderful words and uh, he has done a good job let's put a big hand for our chairman of nagesh trophy let me let me read out to you the stats our uh, dignitaries we had 69 matches which is 138 innings total of 21472 runs were scored during these last 3 months 700 766 wickets were taken by the bowlers which means 14640 balls were bowled unfortunately 3024 runs came in extras 1641 fours boundaries 26 sixes 8150s 2600s 9250 plus partnerships 3500 plus partnerships 27 maidens not a small number and importantly 4795 dot balls 69 catches blind cricket 69 catches 39 stumpings which has been the journey of our sixth edition nagesh trophy which is supported and presented by indusind bank and they have been our great sponsor our great supporters may i now request uh one of our guests of honor shri mohan mate sir member of legislative assembly government of uh, maharashtra to address the gathering vidarbha cricket association blind ki or se ayu taj ke is tournament mein mujhe kaha mere khayal se 4 din pehle iska opening ye amle hostel mein hua tha aur aaj iska prize distribution final match aaj tha और उसमें कर्नाटका के टीम विजयी हुई मैं रनर अप टीम और विनिंग टीम को दोनों को शुभकामना देना शुभकामनाएं देना चाहूँगा और बहुत हेल्दी वातावरण में और स्प्रिट के साथ जो गेम उन्होंने खेला है आखिर के चार पांच ओवर ही मैंने देखे हुए लेकिन मुझे ऐसा लगा कि कोई विदर्भ क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन के ग्राउंड पर कोई टीम इतना अच्छा खेल रही वहाँ अर्जुन अवार्ड भी आपके प्लेयर है निश्चित ही फ्यूचर में आपको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं देता हूँ और अच्छे आप सभी लोग भारत की तरफ से इस विश्व कप में विनिंग होंगे ऐसी शुभकामनाएं आपको देते हुए मैं अपने शब्दों को विराम देता हूँ धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर योर वंडरफुल वर्ड्स मैं नाउ रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर अनूप मारार सी ओ हेल्थ शालिताई मेगे हॉस्पिटल एंड रिसर्च सेंटर टू एड्रेस द गैदरिंग Yeah, respected dignitaries on the dais and my dear friends, I will just like a few words. I saw a, this cricket tournament for the first time. I had been requested by the organizers to come, and I, I salute each one of you for the passion, enthusiasm. We have been always cribbing about, and people, you have shown us how to overcome adversity, and the spirit with which spirit and enthusiasm with which you have played salutations to each one of you keep it up god bless you thank you so much sir thank you for your wonderful uh, few words but wonderful words and your support thank you so much may I now request our uh, president from the cricket association for the blind in vidarbha ms jignasa to say few words she was telling i will not speak i said you have to speak and here you are Uh, respected dignitaries and my dear friends first of all congratulations karnatak team you are the champions vj 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 <laughs> but uh, for me all the eight teams are superb because you have come all way through 28 teams i thank mahentesh sir and kb for your support and trust and giving us opportunity 
to host uh, super at matches at nagpur this is indeed an learning experience for all of us and we will try to promote uh, blind cricket in vidarbha uh, i request i appeal all the vidarbians to support us uh, to promote blind cricket in vidarbha and of course for our hospitality guys you hope you enjoyed our hospitality at nagpur yeah and uh, dheeraj uh, it's been learning uh, and uh, great experience working with you thank you thank you ma'am thank you for the wonderful words let's hear for the entire group of uh, people i mean the officials from cricket association for the blind in vidarbha let's hear for the entire team thank you the all the office bearers vc has been great vidarbha cricket association has been great support to us at the super 8 we have the president here but not just because he is here i'm praising you the vca we got the beautiful two grounds sir aren't you happy with the ground yes we are all happy this is what we believe that the ground should be the first and the foremost thing what we look for and when i came first time when we looked around for the grounds i met mr manish here and the team thank you so much sir everyone because uh, we got the beautiful ground and the facility and also the indian railways ground central in, uh, railways ground both grounds were very beautiful when i say beautiful not just the mere beauty of it the condition the wicket that is maintained for by the entire ground staff so boys and uh, boys and uh, let's uh, girls are also there let's hear for sb city college cricket academy a big round of applause let me also tell before sir speaks vca in their executive committee meeting decided to provide us empires and scorers of for no cost they gave us without any charges so thank you again so at this note and i thank vca let me also thank all the empires and scorers from vca who did a wonderful job because they were also having the blind cricket for the first time they learned the game they delivered and gave a good results at the end with their decisions may i now request our president of the program our vca president to address the gathering justice vinay deshpande good afternoon all the dignitaries on the dais all my player brothers who are standing uh, though in this noon uh, i congratulate not only the winning team but each and every team that has participated in this tournament abhi dekhiye bhai yahan par ye nagesh trophy mein ये पूरे ये जो जर्नी में कितने रन निकाले कितने कैचेस लिए कितने सेंचुरीज मारी इस सब का ब्यौरा आपने दिया दैट शोज दैट शोज कि कितने जुनून से आप लोगों ने ये खेल खेला है उसके लिए मैं मेरे पास जितने भी शब्द है उससे आपका शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहता हूँ और मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि हर एक जन ऐसे ही प्रकार से मेहनत करे लाइफ में यू सी मेयरली बिकॉज दी मैच इज ऑफ थर्टी फाइव ओवर्स दैट डजेंट मीन दैट कि ये मैच कोई ये है दिस मैच दिस टूर्नामेंट एज शोन दैट द कैलिबर ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी मेंबर ऑफ एवरी टीम मैं कर्नाटका टीम को कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट करता हूं कि उन्होंने ये नागेश ट्रॉफी जीती और वैसा ही मैं आंध्र टीम को भी मैं कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट करता हूं कि उन्होंने जो खिलाड़ू वृत्ति बताई उस कारण ये टूर्नामेंट बहुत अच्छी हुई थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर दस वंडरफुल वर्ड्स एंड द सेम सपोर्ट दैट वी रिसीव थ्रू आउट ओडिशा वन द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ द नागेश ट्रॉफी एंड लेट श्री नागेश was our first president of cricket association for the blind in india and we lost him in the year 2017 and this trophy is played under his name and uh, it has been a great journey and i'm sure he worked 
tirelessly to promote cricket for the blind. He himself was a great athlete and he was also the co-founder of Samarthanam Trust for the Disabled and a great friend of our chairman and founder managing trustee of, uh, uh, of uh, Samarthanam, that is uh, Dr. Mantesh Ji Kivdasanava. Dr. Mantesh Ji is not here, but I know he is watching us live. He is listening to me. Let me say it in the camera. Dr. Mantesh Ji Kivdasanava, sir, thank you for the great vision that you had in 2010, for that wonderful vision what you took over Cricket Association for the Blind in India. And we know what has happened. We have people who have made India proud. Through your guidance, we have received a player with the Padma Shri, Shekhar Naik. We have now Ajay Reddy with a recent, you know, Arjuna Awardee is here. Raise your hand, Ajay. Yes. And uh, we have, we know that there are so many great, great leaders here amongst us, amongst the players, taking caring, taking care of their families and paying the taxes, being a visually impaired. That is our motto, and that has been we are been doing. Let's go to the presentation party. May I now request uh, uh, Sri Mohan Mathe sir to come forward, and may I now call upon the player of the match of the final match, that's the sixth sixth edition goes to Mr. Sunil Ramesh for his wonderful century 149 runs of 67 balls with uh, 29 boundaries photo a smile please yes congratulations Sunil we let's we would like to inform the dignitaries, usually in the regular cricket, you know, we have one player of the series. We have three players of the series because we have three categories, B1, B2, B3. B1 are the total blind, four minimum, maximum eight. B2 are the up to two meters they can see, maximum seven players, minimum three players, how to play. And B3, maximum four players can play. So each category gets an award. And uh, may I now request uh, Dr. Anup Mara to step forward. And uh, B1, player of the series, goes to Naresh Tumda from Gujarat for his wonderful batting performance during the entire league. Tumda, congratulations. Let's hear for Naresh Tumda. He's also an international player. He's an Indian player too. Congratulations, Naresh. May I now request uh, Mr. Anjanapa Mutapa sir, our CFO, to come forward. The B2 player of the series goes to D. Venkateshwar Rao, D. Venke, Duna, Venkatesh. Hard luck today. We know that you might have missed the, another trophy, but we are happy that you have done an exceptionally good job. You have become more fit. I see that. Congratulations, and uh, India expects more knocks from you in the coming days. Congratulations. May I now request uh, Mr. Chandra Shekhar, a founder member of CABI, to step forward. The B3 category player of the series goes to none other than Sunil Ramesh for his overall performance. He doesn't rap the song, but he is called DJ. Congratulations, Sunil, for your phenomenal uh, performance throughout the series thank you let's now move to the important uh, discussion with the captains may i now request the captain of andhra pradesh durga rao to step forward for a chat durga hard luck but congratulations you have been a good side over the years there has been great 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 performance and great contribution to the cricket for especially in the blind cricket four of your players are Indian players and five actually Anka also and uh, many more to come in the years to come what are what are your thoughts after losing this final of sixth edition lifting last three cups two cups three cups last year joint winner all of us scolded the rain in Hyderabad today everything is fine but you lost what happened <laughs> so 238 in final on any day I will take it but yeah 
lot of mistakes regarding uh, i think uh, filling setup so we have to give credit to sunil also i think there were no chances he has been given so yeah we have to give credit for him he has been played very well i know we had planned for him but yeah certain day it will not work yeah i think yeah lot of international players has been there from our team yeah all has been playing very well some day which is not our day so today is not our day so everyone has been played according to the plan but yeah i think uh, it's been not a better day for us not a better day for us but uh, you see a lot of learning that has taken place you did not have a great uh, uh, beginning uh, in the form of i would say coaching camp less coaching camp that's what you were saying how do you want to take the andhra side i see a lot of senior players how do you want to bring in the young players what are your thoughts yeah i think yeah management is working on that it's from next year onwards yeah there has been a lot of plans they has been told two days before me that uh, next year onwards they are going to try a lot of tournaments and i think they are going to increase a uh, lot of youngsters for the coming tournaments i know that there are a lot of players in uh, andhra pradesh waiting for a chance to knock the doors of the selection committee of state board andhra pradesh hard luck durga congratulations you are a phenomenal you played well too may i now request our president of vca sir please come forward and hand over the trophy the runners up trophy to the captain of andhra pradesh i also request other dignitaries to step forward along with the uh, deshpande sir let's hear for durga rav the captain of andhra pradesh and now i request the entire team to come forward and uh, take the trophy please come forward the entire team step forward yeah guests please uh, be there we want a group photo in the usually bcci presentations all uh, the guests run away because champagne and other things we don't have and we want to always have the photographs with the guests because these are the moments we want to cherish along with the players so kindly join us for the photograph yes cameraman we want a photograph cameraman official cameraman yes 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 smile venki look front yes thank you let's hear once again for andhra pradesh the runners up runners of the 6th edition may I now call uh, the captain of uh, karnataka mr jawre gowda to have a quick chat congratulations jawre gowda this is the maiden cup for uh, karnataka under the name uh, of uh, a late president sp nagesh sir congratulations what do you wish to say during this moment uh, congratulations boys Uh, hard luck to andhra and we will donate nageshwari sawars since first edition we are trying to get nageshwari sawars we will bring one trophy for karnataka at least one trophy for karnataka uh, last year we missed in just we are a joint winner this year we will donate same spirit same way we will continue we need now it started last year joint this year we are the champions we will continue same thing and we are given good uh, mallet to nagesh sir thank you and uh, what would you like to say about your great uh, support uh, from uh, sunil prakash sai loki baskar and the entire team they have played exceptionally well especially performance from sunil ramesh you cannot take away the credit from him yeah sunil ramesh is known everyone he is a world champion he is a world cup hero he is with our team he is our lucky because he is a ಕನ್ನಡಿಗ ಅವನು ಕನ್ನಡಿಗ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಕೆ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕನ್ನಡಿಗ ಒಬ್ಬ ಇಡೀ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡೀ ವರ್ಡ್ಗೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ರೌಂಡರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಕೆ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಟೀಮಲ್ಲಿ ಆರು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಆಗದಿರೋ ಕೆಲಸನ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸುನಿಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಇದೇ ಥರ ಈ ರಾಜ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಈ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರೋ ದಿನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ನಿನ್ನ ಕೊಡುಗೆ ಅಪಾರವಾಗಿ ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕು ಅದೇ ಥರ ನಮ್ಮ ಟೀಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಆಡಿದ್ದೀರಾ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಈ ಸಪೋರ್ಟು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಆಟ ಉರ್ದುಂಬಿಸಿ ನಮಗೆ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೂ ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬ ಖುಷಿ ತಂದಿದೆ ನಾಟ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಆಸಿಫ್ ಸರ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಡನ್ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಸರ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಸಿಫ್ ಸರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ನೀವು ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಸಲಹೆ ನಮ್ಮ ತಂಡಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದನೇ ನಾವು ಈ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಗಾಗಿದ್ದು ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸ
ಸಮರ್ಥನ ಕೆ ಆ ಬಿ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎ ಬಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದರು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಟೀಮ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಗೆಲುವಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಏನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡಲ್ಲ ವಿಲ್ ಡನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೈ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜಬ್ರೇಗೌಡ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಐ ನಾವ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಎ ದೇಶಪಾಂಡೆ ಸರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ವಿನರ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೋಫಿ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೋಹನ್ ಮಾತೆ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ I now request you to receive the trophy from the distinguished guest. I would like to inform you the winners receive 1 lakh 4000 rupees along with the trophy. And I forgot to tell 80000 Andhra this time little less cash prize but nevertheless you will make it uh, more next year maybe in the coming days. Congratulations Jaure Gowda and may I now request the entire team of Karnataka to come forward for a photograph. Quicker. minute first we will have the photograph then we have the champions board okay step down step down chandrakant sir sulpa ee side bani guide maadi yes 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 guess could you please come forward let it be like yes smile ha okay okay yes stand madam stand madam board board leke aao okay champions board please yes yes okay yes 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 champions indusind bank nagesh trophy men's national t20 cricket tournament for the blind 23 24 the champions team karnataka let's hear for team karnataka